go. That was the women's singles. Up next is the women's doubles. Bei Karna and Lee Sohee up against the home pair, Bali Tan and Tina Muri Tan. So looking at the women's double draw, tough matches for both of the pairs. Matsumoto and Nagahara for Bake and Lee in the semi-finals in the top half, and Chong and Kim uh, in straight games in the end, but that was a mammoth match for Talentina. That means that the Malaysian fans here at the Axialta Arena are gonna go mad in a second. Looking at the women's doubles rankings as of the 11th of April, that's it, top at the top, Bake Hana and Lee Sohi. Fantastic pairing for them, Lee and Liu in two. And all the top names rounding up the top 10. Well, Bek Hanan, Lee Sohee, he will number six. I've been very impressed by this pairing since it started off, Bobby, for you, Bacon Lee. Yeah, Bake Hana for me is one of the most exciting women's doubles to watch play in the game. She's so skillful. She's, um, yeah, just impressive. She's got everything about her and she's playing with the much more experienced Lee Sohi nowadays. And whilst Pearly Tan and Tina Muralithran are able to compete this week with some of those conventional sort of long rally type players they've got to do that again today for one but you've also got Bake Hana on the court who can find winners just like Pearly Tan can yeah so for me the Koreans edge this one absolutely I agree with you completely and I think that the three marathon matches that Tan and Tina have had to play are going to come into play here I mean they've been over 80 minutes for them quarterfinals, semi-finals, you name it. If there was a match on, and they almost seem to be relishing these long rallies, but as you said, the young force of Baker now, the experienced head of Lee Sohee, always looking for the attack and the aggression. And the last time they met was the French Open, of course. That was big success for Tanantina. And they replicated again. Well, Bek Hana and Lee Sohee, here's the look at the coin toss. Drums get going here. It's gonna be a loud one, Bobby, I'll tell you that. Well, they were third in Spain and in Switzerland, second of the All England. And first in Germany, this is actually their fifth final. They're the most developed in terms of final appearances of all the finalists today. 22 years old, Baykana. Played with a couple of other players, um, partners I should say, but has really settled into a pattern with Lee Sohee. And, you know, I've been obviously on tour, you see them, uh, the Korea team around, and they're always tied together. On court, off court, slightly older, Lee Sohi, sixth in the world is where they've got to. She's been as high as two, Shin Seong Chan. So important to have that understanding with your partner. Sometimes it can happen over years, sometimes it can happen as a scratch pairing. Now look at that, three Japanese pairs dispatched on their way to the final. First it started with Mayasari and Sugiato, then Iwaniga Nakanishi, Matsuyama Shida, that's huge, and Matsumoto Nagahara, no games dropped. It's another flawless run up. Pearly Tan, the creative force in the Tan Tina roller coaster that has happened this week. Born up north in Keda, 11th in the world has a great understanding and has actually been working recently in the last few months specifically on that understanding with Tina Munditaran. 25 years old, born right here or just outside um, Kuala Lumpur. That's actually not technically true. Kuala Lumpur is within <laughs> Selangor, but it's close enough if you say 
homegrown. And this was their run. And just look at those minutes at the side of the screen. Stoeva sisters, that was relatively easy. Miura and Sakura Moto was 89 minutes. Fukushima and Hirota, 111 minutes. And Jong and Kim, 93 minutes. And of course, they dropped games there. Bobby, fatigue, perhaps? Oh, hugely. I mean, the home crowd might again carry them through. Let's hope it can. I mean, the fresh legs on the Koreans is going to play a huge part in this one. So, um, Mohamed Shamim Hassan is the umpire, service judge Sergio Cabrera. But yes, you were saying 12th man is, is what it's all about here. Yeah, I mean, although it was straight games for them yesterday, uh, the Malaysian still player, took 89 uh, minutes. Uh, nine, yeah, 93 minutes or something. Uh, they'll, they'll be shattered. Um, it's, they're going to be playing on pure adrenaline, I think. Now, I have to say, during those three marathon matches, Pearlie Tan did look like she was absolutely exhausted at some points, but I didn't say enough about how Tina Muritara looked surprisingly fit. All, all the way through. All, all the way through. through, yeah. Didn't really couldn't see any signs of fatigue, and she was really picking up the pace for Pearlie at times. Yeah, I commentated on a couple of them, and I was really surprised. I mean, yeah, Tina was... Um, stayed fit and strong throughout the match in most uh, in most of them so yeah let's see what they've got left this won't of course be the only Malaysian cheer with another doubles pairing making it into the men's doubles later on man and T but really full to the rafters here I can tell you we've got a pretty good commentary perch just above court one and very few seats empty in this house right now a lot of pressure for Bacon Lee, but they can take it. They're not one of these pairs. And there you go, you can just see Malaysian fans in full force. They're flooding in all day. I can't tell you, I was actually in Suzhou for the Sudirman Cup last week. So you went from rampant home support there to here, and it's equal. They've done well. Just let that simmer, let that cheer simmer. pointed out Poppy this is going to be a very interesting fascinating matchup because the one thing Bake and Lee are not going to allow if they can help it is sizable rallies every point greeted with a cheer I don't think they'll mind the, the long rallies, to be honest. Um, uh, either pair. I mean, physical exhaustion might come into it for the Malaysians, but they're at home in their own event in a final, you know. It's uh, history making stuff, yeah. Yeah, they'll be up for this. The Koreans are pretty fresh and they don't mind a long rally. I mean, they've, uh, they're in such a good run of form. Well, Lee So he immediately on the attack, Baekhan now following her up. They've developed into a really good pair, these yeah. two. And, I mean, what is this, the fifth final they've yeah. been in yeah. this year? Yeah. It was the All England, Thai Masters, German Open, uh, Malaysia as well. Those are the four beforehand. Yeah, and now this one, so... And let's not forget, they've been on duty for Badminton Asia, the Continental Championships, and Sudirman Cup as well. That's pretty much all the tournaments so far, top level. Well, Pearly Tan picking a spot from the back line. Yeah. 
Lee So he transitioning from defense to attack. Meikarnar just lurking. Oh, great. Well, listen to that crowd as well. That's the, what it's all about. The punch clear from Lee Sohi just didn't quite have enough snap. It was a bit short and, well, she stitched her partner up a bit there, to be honest. <laughs> Great winner, though, from Pearlie Tan. Well, you could be forgiven for losing track of the score in this cauldron-like atmosphere, but it is too all. That's very loose. Ambitious enough from that position on the court. Try such a big backhand clear. Tried to get creative on the left side. Yeah, she's playing with a big smile on her face, which is uh, something I always love to see. I know it's early in the match, but um, just a sign of Pearly Tan's ambitious shot making. Oh, out of position. So he there smelt blood in the water and moved forward. Tina was down somehow, and this is quite impressive. She almost hit Tina's racket with this smash. <laughs> <laughs> Came in a lot steeper on the second one. Yes. Well, who wants a doubles pair that isn't flying across the court? And they do have that dramatic quality about them. The story fits the pairing, really. But history making is what it's all about. And for Pearlie Tan, of course, she's had badminton in her life since very, very early age. Her dad, former national player, owns a badminton club. Very proud of his daughter now, I'm sure. That's good movement from Valentina. Oh, they can't are again. Brilliant. Stunning in defense, the Koreans. Baekhan just senses the tiniest of opportunities. A couple of steps forward, that's it. Yeah. And she's on the attack. 6 3. That's the difference compared to the pairs they've overcome this week. So, uh, as yeah. I said at the beginning, Baekhan Ars, just a slightly different character. the knees from Tina. Well, shot from Lee Sohi again was a bit weak. That was mid-court from Tina, and yes, it was well put away. And she smashed to the right spot on Pekana's body, but... Well, it's good to see an immediate apology from Lee Sohi as well. Well, there you go, Lee Sohi should have got a better yeah. length there. Living off these points right now. Yeah, it's rattled her cage slightly, Miso He. That's three, basically three errors yeah. in 
four or five points and they can't afford that. Oh, Pearlie's had enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> Superb from Pearly Tan. There was a moment of indecision in the Korean defence. A shot came back a bit soft again. Pearly Tan with all her skill. Just takes the pace off of that final shot. Beautiful play. Important point to win as well. Six all. All hands on deck defending for the Malaysians. Great from Tina. One too many in the end. A massive strength of Tina this week. I mean, that match point yesterday to, to come yeah. through the semi final was a cross block. After a dive on the floor, you know, she's fighting for all her worth. Yeah, she's. Proved a really, really good partner in terms of our uh, growth for Pearly Tan. Strong enough. And here she is again, orchestrating the attack. They always look at the racket, they shouldn't they look at the arm. As I said, it's the easiest point of blame, really, is the racket head. And you, you as a player, I'm sure, <laughs> must have looked at your racket a couple of times. Well, she, must, she perhaps mishit it. <laughs> I mean, maybe she's looking at whether she broke a string. Let's stroke a string, yeah. yeah. Well, as has been the case with their other matches, the umpire just there just to make sure that things don't overstep the mark. So much enthusiasm. Baykana again. Stabs in. Oh. Bit of confusion. Yeah, this is what Baykana has become very good at. I think Liso, he didn't think Bait was going to recover for the next one. Tried to uh, tried to help out, but uh, to be honest, it was unnecessary. Oh, instinctive stuff! So close, yet so far. Fast pace to this match so far, 16 points played, 10 minutes on court. I like the way in which this match is being played. They're not, they're not settling back with loads of drop yeah. shots and loads of clears. They're both trying to win the rallies. Baikana on backcourt duty now. Liso He lurking at the net, now they're flat. Switch rolls, good rotation. It's pressure for the Malaysians. And they rotate again. So he trying to initiate something a little bit more attacking minded. To break out of this pattern. Seamless transition between them.
second attack phase there. Gearing up for a third, they don't need it. It's a mistake from Tinner. Exhausted. Well, there's cross smash in the end from Bekana going across the body of Tinner. That's just that little bit of something different. You wouldn't normally do this in level doubles. It's a big risk, but that's the thing. Bake yeah. is happy to try and take a risk. We know Pearly Tan takes risks. She does it almost Absolutely, every rally. Yeah. But um, Bake Karnar is up there as well, and so the Malaysians got to be on their toes here. Well, they've done well enough keeping pace with the scoreline. It's not critical yet by any means. Clash of rackets, double apology. A really well placed shot from Tinner, I think. Directly in between the two of them, causing that confusion. Always a safe place to attack. Nine all. Everything to play for. This would be the first time, if they do it, but a Malaysian pair has won the Malaysian Masters since 2012. It's 11 years with Chin Yi Hui and Pei Tui. Pei Ti, that's right. Came through. So approaching the mid game interval. Channeled attack on Baikan R. And Tinner did really well to step across and find the winner. Hard to connect. Nothing between these two pairs in terms of score. Next point is in for the mid-game interval. Quite savage when they, when they get on the attack, it's quite brutal. Yeah, it absolutely is, and as it should be. I mean, it's like you said earlier an analogy of a, a shark sensing blood. Yeah, that's what exactly blood what it is. is. They, they sense the blood in the water, and it's all of a sudden it's a frenzy. Yeah. They see weakness and they go for it, you know. 11 10. Plenty to play for, plenty to watch. So back on court, and still very little to differentiate these two pairs. As much as the home crowd would love it to be falling the Malaysian way. It's been strong, strong stuff from Beikana and Lee Sohi.
again, it's the combination that makes all the difference. Bekana keeping the play going, so he just heavy from the backcourt. But still, they can't push away. 12-11. Pressure there and forced into the short lift. They're tied up again at 12. Pace of the game slowing down somewhat. As these rallies get more developed. Desperation, recovery more than anything else from Pearly Tan. Yeah, Tina just missed <laughs> an air shot. All of a sudden, it doesn't look so fluid <laughs> when that happens. So he with a killer angle. Clips the tape. She had done so well early in the rally, Tina Muralitharin. There was some incredible defending, covering for her partner as well. Gets half a chance there and squanders it. Just the anticipation of closing the shot, I guess. But they're still managing to keep pace. Whether it's errors, whether it's winners, whether it's struggles, whether it's confusion. seems to be working and again the points alternate 14 all yeah unlike the singles matches quite often the uh, faster end is a bit better in doubles because you're not lifting and clearing so much yeah yeah and um, for the Malaysians to keep with the Koreans, Malaysia on the slower end, if you like, playing into that drift. They're doing really well here. Good Edged. net shot from Tan. Yep. yep. Edged ahead. Close to the body once again. Difficult to respond. Rexy Manaiki and Hoon Tien Hao, the doubles coaches from Malaysia, watching on. I'm sure that they can't believe, in certain respects, that they're actually here. They were, of course, watching for the quarterfinals and semifinals in second round as well. And every time they've seen the ladies come through. Pressure on the Koreans. And it's a seamless transition. Koreans back in a good defensive formation. Oh, what a shot. Rally what this. a shot. Yeah. Oh. Lee so he turns it over with the wrist. Well, 
technically that wasn't very yet uh, wasn't very well executed. No, but that was rally of the match, I think, so far in terms of the phases of coming through it. Yeah, absolutely. It's just that last final shot from Lee. She was trying a bit too much, but what a point! And look at that scoreboard now: 17-14. The first real clear ray of sunlight in terms of distance right at the end of the game this could be working out perfectly for Talentina oh pounced on by Bacona Well rescued by the Malaysians. Oh. This is incredible. That was an unbelievable rally. Unbelievable. Take a bow. Tanantina, that was superb. How frustrating must it have been for Lee Sohee in that rally? Trying so hard with the winners, and it just kept coming back. Yeah, Tina first of all. Pearly Tan as well played her part in defence. What a winner for Pearly Tan. Now look at that. Exquisite, the touch on the forehand. Well, that's why they're here. And as I was saying about their coaches, Rexy Manaiki and Hun Tian Hao, they actually said after the 111 minute game, they stopped giving tactics at like about 50 minutes. They just, it was just encouragement. Just go out there, you can do it, that's it. The pearly fist bumps are coming back again as they take a commanding five point lead in the first game. Yeah, and six consecutive points at the Amazing. right part of the game. Oh. Well, we can forgive Tin on that mistake. She's been really good form. Not quite at game point yet. Yeah, Bekana was in the right place, and I think just put Tinner off. Good covering by the Malaysians for each other in terms of court coverage. Oh, that's not the time to be doing that. Well, she almost she, made it. She almost made it, but of all the times we've seen her do it successfully before, this one looked a little bit more on edge, and Pearly Tan had to take a lot. How well did she do, though? Oh, yeah. Pearly Tan two, recovering three. for her partner. Well, they, oh, she's actually getting up quite gingerly here. Oh. That leg doesn't seem to be responding. Now, I've been saying it all week, that while it's been fantastic to see Pearly and Tina, oh, that's a cut. Yeah, it's OK. She'll be fine. It's just a bit of blood. That won't be anything yeah. that uh, means she can't play on, which, which is really good well, news for all of us. Yeah, exactly. I mean, but with the injuries that she's had over the last six months as well, I think a lot of people were gingerly expecting her to come back at her own speed. She's pushed ahead, of course, in this tournament, and um, she's pushed ahead, well, throughout these last three matches, we've seen her flinging herself around the court. But that looks like a cut, that looks like it's gonna be all right. I she had a couple of grazes as well this week. I just wonder how that injury came about. It's a yeah. very unusual one. Strange, right? So... That's why I thought it was a twist. And we saw Tina running off for a new racket. I wonder whether there was a swipe from Tinner, broke her own racket on Pearly Tan's leg. I, I'm trying, there can't be anything else, because 
Unless yeah. you hit yourself in the leg with your racket. How there else? are no sharp objects on that wing <laughs> surface. Right. That is interesting. Well, it didn't look that way from the replay, but I said yeah. it was frenetic times. I wonder if it was a broken string or a broken racket. I'd love to see a replay again. Yeah. She's on her feet. She's on her feet. She's struggling on again. Malaysian fans, not just from capital city, KL, but all over, have come down for this week. 16-19. Well, we had a chat about it earlier. That certainly wasn't gamesmanship. It was real blood there. Still, they got a little break from play. Now shooting for two points in the first game. get the feeling that this is a setup that the Koreans are just planning and building something that's going to suddenly shift into another attack yeah they would have done well to have kept their composure during that interval yeah Ooh. that's gone wide well they went for the attrition in the end and well, it worked there's a challenge I think and to be honest this might be closer than we expect Wow, what a key point, 19-16. 20-16 or 19-17, those are the options. Tina looking as calm, fresh as a daisy. Oh, oh, oh. nothing but green fields, my friend. Yeah, miles out, I was wrong. There's a post in my way, I couldn't see that. <laughs> that's right, that's right. He does have a limited, I can testify that, he has a limited <laughs> scope right now. So, 17-19 it is, and this a great chance for Bacon Lee to close up. Can't afford to make any mistakes. That was a forced mistake, but it's given Tanantina three game points. And this isn't for a spot in the quarterfinals or a spot in the semi-finals. This is for one hand on the trophy. That's ruthless from the Malaysians. Brilliant channel attack. Deserve every one of these game points. Wow, Lee So He has needed about three or four of those, but coming forward like that at the end. Well, she looked like she'd been plugged in during the interval to some sort of supersonic charger. That was <laughs> rapid from Lee So He to go from, what, seven or eight smashes in a row to suddenly a kill at the net. Yeah. Amazing. And the arc that she tracked as well. It's like half the rotation. Tricky, very tricky. Important point for the Koreans. by Sohi, it was exactly where she's supposed to be. That looked like it was going out. <laughs> just, again, once she just gets in it, that zone, that attacking mode, 
Yeah, weak from Pearly Tan and brilliant from Lee Sohi. Well, just thinking of the context of the game, you can just feel the urgency at 19.20 now, forcing extra points. They know how critical and impactful and significant this first game win is going to be. Three in a row for the Koreans, just one more to tie the game up again. from the back. They've done it. They've tied it up at 20 apiece. Extra Very points. controlled from Lee So He. Uh, she had chances early at the start to start hitting with power and try and take something on, but instead she was just very composed, yeah, very controlled. Patient. Very patient, yeah, good word, patient. Let's not forget those three points that have tied it up have all been from Lee So He. That too. Just. Well, what a time to leave a shot to fall in on serve. Game for an point. Ace. Yep. It's looking ominous. Koreans back in a good formation. Looking for the attack. She had, she had the angle. It was, it was a bit light and loose on the front. So from 17-20 down, they take the first game. And this is the challenge for the Malaysians in this final. Wonderful comeback at the end from the Koreans. They had three game points, the Malaysians. I can't believe they let the Koreans get back into that. Oh, I think it was a bit of that, also a bit of Lee so he just not accepting those game points. More to come. Well, it's the Koreans back on court first. They're ready to get underway. And that first game now has put their hand on the trophy. Amazing turnaround. As Bobby, you said, cool, calm, composed and patient. But lethal when they need to be. And yeah, the Koreans really came into their own at the end. They... Uh, they had a few moments early on in that game where Lee So He in particular had lost a run of points and the Malaysians sort of took control of the game really. I thought it was over. Well, I think thousands of people in here also thought it was over. <laughs> but it wasn't. Well, let's see if that side of the court serves the Malaysians better.
Oh. A little bit late there. Recovered well. And left well. Yeah, KG looking rally this one. There was a confusion between Tan and Tina halfway through. Tina was late, like you said, and then nobody really looking to try and take a chance. Going across the body again of Lee Sohi, struggling in defence this time. Bekana and Pearly Tan at the moment. And that's exactly what Pearly Tan wanted. A exquisite from Pearly Tan. That cross drop forced the short lift and then Lee So he's struggling back in defence, couldn't get in position. Good start for Tan and Tino in the second game. Well, again, it's well left, and it's a four-point lead for the Malaysians. That was a brave call on the uh, slower end. The drift could have slowed that up slightly. Confidence and a great start for the Malaysians. Oh, absolutely. I'll be happy with this. one was a little less dangerous. I hadn't realised her string had gone. I thought she was just toying with Bekana, trying to out-clear her. And she just sort of sauntered off court. Yeah. Casual as you like. They're getting, they're getting used to doing it. Tina asked to play singles on a doubles court for a moment. Does Against Bacon Lee as well. It's not your average doubles pair. Smiles from Lisa He she can't believe it. Either that, she can't believe the scoreline right now. Six love. One way traffic. Again, going cross smash, a risk from Pearly Tan. It paid off. The weak block from uh, Bake and Tina with the power. Dream start to the second. Play there. Yeah. 
Some brilliant defending. Oh, great shot from Lee Sohi. How about that? Should you pick a spot? Left or right? I thought the Malaysians might challenge the call. Just on the outside of that line, wasn't it? Yep, edge of the line. Brilliant rally. Don't know how they survived for as long as they did, to be honest. Well, even that one point was a minor respite from this continuing charge from Tarantino. Yeah, we don't often see Lee So He trying to take people out of the net like that, and I think that's the reason. Eight one. All shaping up right now, exactly the way Tarantino have liked their games or matches this week. Setting up another marathon three game, maybe. Well, they themselves were 12 2 down and came back yesterday, so right. this one's not yeah, quite not gone yet. Yeah. Absolutely not gone. Hey. Late decision there from Tina. Coach Rexy, I think, just saying it was slightly out. He's been in good voice his last couple of rounds. Quick from Pearly Tan. And a good lead. Yeah, this interception, I think Lee went to try and go over her head and just instinctively stuck a racket out. Brilliant from Tan. Front stops abruptly at nine three. Drop's been working well over the last two or three rounds. Well, she disguises this so well. Everyone expects power. And she just gets her body in position and then her arm slows down. Superb. They can't react. Yeah. Buffer. Can you imagine what it would have been like had they taken that first game? <laughs> they were 27. Up. They should have taken that first game, really. Well, if they were 10 4 up here in the second, then that would bedlam in the stadium. And they're 11 4 up, that's for sure. Still work to be done. Good reaction from Pearly Tan again. Gets a racket up early. Keeps the pressure on Bekana. 
brilliant start to the second game, eh? Absolutely. This is where the story of this game, the story of this match, gets defined. Second part, second game. One that the Malaysians very much need to win. That's a good start. Some clear tactics from the Koreans by the looks of it. They're trying to wear down Tina Mulalithirin. Yep, she's the sole protagonist of this point so far. Pearly turn now in. It's a vicious push from Pearly Tan in the middle of that. It's back up front. Superb from the Malaysians, a fine winner as well from Pearly Town. This smash is a challenge, I think, from Lee Sohee, but the smash was in, oh, it's it was pretty in. clear to it see. It was absolutely in, yeah. But uh, that's a smash that any singles player would be happy with. Oh, other than the fart part is out in the trap lines, of course. Of course, yeah. <laughs> Dependent upon this review. I would look at that. If they were playing in a doubles court. I see. That's, you just got to isolate the smash itself and not exactly where it was in you know, time and space. I completely understand. <laughs> doing well in their first final of the year. Let's not forget that. That's some okay results. Three third place finishes. Well, another smash winner going across the body of Baekhan Art. Early town afterwards, is twisting the back. Yep. I think she might have... Holding her hip right yeah. there. She doesn't look 100% comfortable, but let's hope it's nothing serious. Constantly amazes me in terms of the amount of endurance she's put a body through. Certainly w moving around court a little bit more cautiously. That's what allowed Lee Sohi in there. Yeah, there were quite a few slower drop shots from Pearly Tan. Just bringing the pace down. Absolutely yeah, bringing I, the pace down. I wondered whether it was. Just being cautious of that tight back she looked to have. Didn't want to unleash a big smash in case she'd pull something. I don't know. Well, remember, I mean, they are looking good for the second game, but they're going to have to win another one. So maybe it's a case of consolidating a little now that you're 14-5 up. Still got to close out another seven points somehow, though. Yeah, that's true.
complete change of reaction from the crowd <laughs> to the change of pace. Well, Dino was down, but she's up. It's when the Koreans have the attack. I think the crowd are trying their <laughs> best to put them off. With cooing sounds. <laughs> Same thing last night in the semi-final. Oh, that's just cruel. And as soon as the Malaysians get the attack back, <laughs> which they may, here we go, it will change. Ready? <laughs> Brilliant crowd atmosphere. I can't get over that, that's brilliant. It's a delight to, to be part of, isn't it? Wow, it's, I said, sports atmospheres like this, once in a lifetime stuff. Oh, straight down the middle! And it's in. And it's oh. two Koreans versus 10, 12, 14,000 Malaysians again. And once again, they just lulled them into this pattern of play. That was right at the start of the point, but in the middle of the point, everyone is just shuttle watching, I guess. And then that happens. Well, I'm not sure what Beck Hainar is doing here. The shuttle just sort of moves straight past her. Yeah, she just watched it go. That's the difference between badminton players and ordinary people. Ordinary people just turn their heads. Badminton players turn half their body when they see anything going past them. <laughs> That's what you need to do, of course, if you're going to reply. And then the umpire getting involved here. Yeah, I don't think the umpire was ready. <laughs> Four players were ready to go. Yep. Like it's a Sunday game. Yep. And it is a Sunday. It's just a Sunday game that's worth a lot. Good judgment, Pearly Tan. A mountain to climb for these two now, the Koreans. <laughs> Look a little bit jaded just for the last few points. <laughs> Leaving it long, attack's not so crisp. 17-5. Well, that's quite a few in defence now that have gone out the back from the Koreans. Oh, I think it's just amazing the difference between the two ends that we've seen this week, especially in the last couple of days. But the radical change in score lines that happened, the level of comfort that people feel. We saw it with uh, Feng Yanzhi and Huang Dongping as well, right? The mixed doubles at the start. Yeah. Yeah, and it bodes well for the Malaysians Absolutely. because they will finish yeah. the match on that side of the court. If they win this and go to three, of course, they'll change ends and change ends again and finish the match yeah. where they are now, where they're having lots of success. And you'd want to finish a match yeah, on the, end on of the, the court. best side of the court. Yeah. Yeah. Right, that's also why that innocuous coin toss at the beginning of any badminton match that you think is just part of the rules is actually very, very significant. Well, I was going to say, the point. Malaysians won the toss and didn't choose an end. And I was so surprised. I thought they'd choose whichever end they wanted to either get a good start on or finish the match, hopefully, yeah, on. Ultimate one, yeah. But, you know, it was, said, we'll serve. I couldn't believe it. Well, her general nonchalance and attitude is is really quite impressive, I have to say. You know, I, did, I said I didn't see enough about it yesterday. Here she is again, on the attack. Oh, they got a buffer. And that's safe to say. Well, I would say that Tina has probably had more mistakes today than she did in 93 minutes yesterday, and that is saying something. That's, That's how consistent yeah. she is, because I can only remember one or two today so far. Well, they are absolutely strutting their stuff now, and they'll be very happy that this 
capitulation by the Koreans in this second game means that it's not going to be a marathon. Just still haven't hit the hour mark, which for Pearlie and Tina, well, it's almost an 11 point game. Oh, is that in? I think it's good. I think she made it. I think she did. No challenge coming. 12 game points. Just never thought I'd be saying that about this second game. Well, it looked a, a little bit like Lee So he was quite happy to concede this game. It really didn't look like. I suspect they were once you get to a point where there's only three or four points needed and you're so far behind. Yeah, and you're it's kind just of a complacent. You just let the match go because it's inevitable anyway. You might want yeah. to get on with the third and start from zero zero. Exactly, and they're going to start on that good side of the court too. They need to make the most of it though. That's yeah, they the, have to. That's the key. I think that's that's the important thing that people have to understand. Yeah. So here we go. Third and deciding rubber game. Second that we've seen today on final Sunday. First was in the mixed doubles. And now in the women's doubles as well. I would have been so disappointed if this hadn't have gone to three, you know. That's true. After That's what we've true. seen this week and what the Malaysians have done to get here. It was almost written, you're right. I wonder whether it might be a record for the most amount of minutes spent on court across four matches. So their round of 16, quarter-final, semi-final, and yeah. then today. I think they've got to be touching a record. It's almost a double tournament for them. Testament to their fitness regime. Attack now, but that might not have worked. Yeah, Pearly Town had a chance here. Went for that uh, trademark sort of stop drop shot thing. I say thing because she was in the mid course. I'm not really sure what yeah. kind of shot that was. No, it's it's a UFO type shot, it's unidentifiable. Well, I like that stop drop term, I think that's about right. Very well. She doesn't score the outright winner. She puts enough power onto it. She's very, very conventional, Tinner, and that's what allows Pearly Tan to be so flamboyant. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Solid partner to play the foil. Overhead. There's a 
great push in the midcourt. Forced Bake into a weak shot. What an atmosphere. <laughs> just kind of seriously trying not to laugh. Uh, so one-sided. <laughs> it's just so partisan and <laughs> hostile. Well, it's hostile but played in a sort of good spirit, <laughs> yes. if that makes sense. It's well, it's to... tribalism. It's sportsmanship. That's what it's all about. Absolutely. And it has to be said, while they play out this rally, that whatever sport you see it in reveal itself, it always brings a smile to my face, whether it's, you know, just the most cunning football song <laughs> that comes out and chants. So that's another point won there by Tina. Yeah, great winning defensive block. Liso, he smashed just out of position. Tina comfortably finds the empty court. Well, for a second there, I thought she actually looked like she was tired, but she was actually just fixing her hair, so she's fine. Three one. Oh, out boxed by the deep serve. <laughs> Hands on knees, Bekana. Flicks a variation, a, a straight ace. Doing well here, the Koreans, not to yeah. allow that situation, the pressure, the environment, you know, the, the fact that in. they got beaten yeah. so badly in the second game, to affect them and try and keep going forwards. herself up for that one bake but still it comes back oh great stuff from big honor yeah the channel of the attack again and she finds the right spot this time Lee so he weak reply punished by bake What's quite amazing to me is I think Tina and Perli Tan look fresher now than they have done <laughs> in either of the quarter-final and semi-final that I watched. Isotonic drinks, maybe. <laughs> maybe that's it. Pasta. I had lots of pasta yesterday. Whatever they're doing, they're doing well. Yeah, as I said, in terms of fitness regime, it's proved by the results. enough to allow Tina to start the attack. Switch the positions. Oh. Oh. Wait for your timing. The placement of this smash, it's perfect. Just down that racket line we talked about earlier. And Liso he unsure whether to try and take it backhand or forehand or what, it's just straight yeah. into that rib cage. Well, I'll tell you what, 
if there's a future badminton star that is born that can come up with a shot that can actually reply that, they're going to be world champion. <laughs> oh, I mean, plenty of people do. It's just uh, it's difficult. Yes, uh, most of the time it looks like it's lucky and very instinctual. If you could actually come up with a way to protect that chest area, wow. So, it's closed up a little on the scoreboard. 4 5. Well, you know, it's not just the people in the stands, I can tell you. No, there's people just standing everywhere right now. It's completely full to the rafters here at the Axiata Arena. Oh, she moved in, found the space. Yeah, that's exactly right. Pearly Tan took control of the forecourt. One more shot with pressure, and then it's easy for Tinner. Brilliant from Tan. And look at them, they're bouncing around on their feet. <laughs> Loads of power in their shots. They don't look tired at all after the week they've had. Fueled by adrenaline. Again. Oh, well rescued. I thought that was down. Now that's out. But you know what, Bobby? It might also be the fact that when you're in the quarterfinals, in the back of the mind, you know you've got the semis and the final. In the semis, you know you've got the final. Here, they've got nothing to lose. Yeah, they can give it their they absolute give it all. They can sleep for the next two, three days. And they are as well. I mean, this is incredible from them. The shuttle's in bits. Look at the state of that. <laughs> I saw feathers flying off it earlier. Yeah. Great pickup, though, from Baker in the middle of that rally. Yeah. Baker straight on the attack. That was nice. Very deceptive. That was straight out of the pearly tan playbook. Yeah, I was about to say. Shapes to hit a smash. Just cuts across the shuttle, slicing it, taking all the pace off. For once, Tinner can't recover. Ooh. Well, that hurt Tinner slightly, I think. That deep lunge on the hip, she's limping. Yep, slightly, you're right. I think you'd need to drag one of these two off court <laughs> at this stage. She moves forward again. Pearly Tan takes over, that's a very late take. Well, if they can win points like that, then you've got to say that this title might be coming their way. Simply amazing how Tan survived with that shot, and then they kept in the rally. It's just their time, sometimes you just know Today belongs yeah, to you. Yeah. But the way they fought themselves out of that as well, some great shots. Both of them clear as to where they need to be. And there's that fist bump once again. 8 5. Mistakes creeping in. This is now looking very ominous indeed. Fake Hana pointing out that that is an absolutely destroyed shuttle. Well, the umpire's insisting to give it back to the Malaysians. Malaysians didn't want the shuttle changed. Umpire says no as well. well that is an interesting new dimension. Well, they might want to change now. <laughs> Good shot. Great to cause the confusion here, straight in between the two Malaysians again.
what has been become the unofficial anthem of sports in general. Now echoing out here at the Axiata Arena as well has become the anthem for this charge by Tan and Tina. Great to see. Still in full swing. Tina immediately on the attack. Malaysians asking all the questions here. Oh, third time. Works again. Yes, mirror image of the shot that won the rally earlier. Stop drop. We've talked about Pearly Town so often, but Bek Hanar. Perhaps plays it even better there. Yeah. Look how short that is. That's before service line from the rear court and beats one of the best doubles defenders in the world. And That's how good that was. Moving laterally as well. She wasn't even jumping or moving forward. She's literally pegging it to the other side of the court. And just picks it up. So, 7 9 now. Closing up. Five. Given the conditions, the Koreans have dug really deep here. They've done really well. They've done really, really well. And again. Just like that, they've closed up. Well, one of the Malaysians should have gone to the net a bit earlier than they did. They didn't react very quickly. Oh, superb from Tan. How did she pick that up? And that one. Oh! Big honor. Picking up the angles on the move. I think Pearly Town thought she had it won, and somehow Lee So He survived with that. And the Malaysians had stopped. Wonderful. Oh, that's tied it up at nine apiece. wait to get to the interval to be honest hypothetically they're on the poorer side of the court and I think if they'd have been in touching distance at the mid-game interval they'd have been happy however the way it's gone they had such a lead it's become a very mental battle oh that's why well, after being in the lead for so long we now approach 77 minutes to add to their tally. The third and final stage of this match and this competition for women's doubles at the Malaysia Masters.
Koreans once again itching to get back into the game. 11-9 up, two points, just you feel not enough for these pairs. No, especially well, how dominant the Malaysians were on this side of the court in game two. That will bode well for them here. Oh, it's out. Well, the first part of that puzzle's worked out. Kept the serve. Straight down the middle. The perfect smash. Peck Hana was drifting too far to her left. They both should have pushed over a bit more to the right. And they can't afford that. No, it's a nervous time. No, that there's all sorts of ideas rushing around your head at this point. But you have to keep your composure. that old saying that if you're playing in any final you have to believe that your opponents can do everything that you never wanted and you can't give them a single chance that definitely applies here with the quality of Bacon and Lee so -Yi. oh Loose. 14 10. I know they like leaving it late. They love clawing back deficits as well. But who would put themselves in a situation like this? Oh, and Pearly Tan's looking tired again. Yeah, she is. But they've done it all week long, so you can't write them off yet. And like you say, it, some of these matches so far this week. The results have almost gone so far against them that yeah. the other pair have switched off and, and they've just they calmly yeah. Yeah, started coming back. Oh. Well, she was very slow to get down for that one. She's very slow to get up from it. She keeps holding that right knee. That was the trouble knee. That was the knee that put her out for a while. And even if it's just a tiny stiffness this by far is has been the the most pronounced use and exercise of that knee in competition which she's had to face in a while the real test of it 15 10 definitely not out of it yet you can never say that and how about that talking about that looks like a, a flesh wound really in terms of playing yeah, that would have been a dive at some stage. But that's racket hand. Is that, is that yeah. a problem? Is that a problem when you have a well, phrases on knuckles? And if she's damaged the muscles of the tendons, then yes. But the physical pain, she'll she'll wear that off. I mean, the adrenaline of this situation will will carry her through. Right. Well, six points away from the championship. serve it's careful from the Koreans Good coverage from Tina. Oh, unbelievable defending from Lee Sohee. And the rally goes on. 
How did Liso he survive that onslaught? <laughs> no idea. A oh, bit of a breather. Again. She's down she's again. Down, she's down again. Stretching that knee as much as she can. It's 16 10. Well, win or lose. And that's the first time that we said that. It has been fantastic effort in the final from both pairs. They've ebbed, they've flowed, they've battled it out. It looks like the tolls of this week are showing. Might finally be showing yeah. these last five points. Pearly Tan's struggling out there in particular. Well, her movement is much slower now. She's going for the slow drops, they're still working. But just look at the way she's walking now. And what about this drop shot? It's just so late, very last second. Brilliant. Five points needed for the Koreans, five points back for the Malaysians. Oh, how did she get the energy to do that? She didn't almost work had out. it. Yeah, yeah. didn't yeah. work out, but great idea. A better shot quality would have. She would have had that. She didn't quite come off the racket as clean as she hoped. Yeah, see, Lee's taking that from the middle of the court and nowhere near the tram lines. But you're right. How did she have the energy for it? I mean, she looked shattered. 17-11 something driving on the Malaysians right now. <laughs> Just straight pressure. Yeah, she suffocates Lee So here here. Keeps the shuttle firing at that right hand side of the body. Does not let her breathe. Seventeen. This is a big point. And it was settled quickly. Oh, I think they're going to be lucky. The way that bounced back in court suggests the shuttle can't be that far long here. It might have caught the back edge. Oh, this is going to be the key challenge. The challenge for the championship, really. It really is. This is tight. <laughs> well, well, well. Are there any more twists in this tale? Saying that, though, of course, twists in the tale, but the story looks like it's going to end the way of the Koreans still. Malaysians can pick up a couple more points and maybe we can start talking about other endings. Wide. Too much. Every shot she's buckled over now. Yeah, she's wearing her heart on her sleeve here. This was an all Literally. or nothing winning shot from Pearly Tan. She went for that line, didn't quite make it. Visibly. 
To be fair, she's looked like that at the end of the last true. three days. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Still manages to find the winners. She was actually lucky at that point that she was still in that area of the court. I don't think she would have been able to move any couple more steps. Well, they've done it a couple of times. They need to do it another four times. And they've got, I think, the leeway of possibly one error. It's not a tough, it's not an easy situation. It's a tough ask. And an even tougher task. Oh! Great defense. Yeah. Oh. That's another one saved. Well, they found a way through. Just popped up a touch short. Tina was on top. I don't know. I think it looked for a second there that uh, Lee and Bake were actually favoring Pearly Tan by not targeting her. I think if they had a more ruthless streak, that's the player I'd be targeting straight up. I don't know. <laughs> to me, you know what you're getting with Tina. And earlier oh, on in the yeah, match, yeah. They were really targeting Tina, trying to keep the shuttle at the back of the court on Tina. Pearly Tan to me is like a wild animal that you cake, that you box into a corner. Just, she's going to fire back. You're right. Yeah, no, she's right. lethal. You, you put the pressure on her, and she'll come up with something and beat you. You know. Well, that's interesting that Lee Sohee just had a bit of the old magic spray on the left ankle. Well, they're still in the ascendancy, Bacon Lee, and they only need, it's one and a half hours now, 90 minutes on court. <laughs> Tina's barely able to get out of that seat. Yeah. <laughs> Very interesting lacing technique that Lee Sohee is going for. It's taking a little bit longer than usual. And the umpires noticed. That is an inordinately long amount of time to be tying one shoe. Yeah, well, a couple of points of momentum for the Malaysians, you know. <laughs> exactly, break that, that rhythm. That, that rhythm's now stopped well and truly. Gentle, gentle at the net for the Koreans. They are now dictating the pace. Malaysians playing a dangerous game here. Yeah. Good rotation. It's great rotation from them. In fact, all in all. Oh, it was in it's the gone, end. It's gone long. No fault. I think it's gone long. I'm not even sure if Lee So he knows. Maybe she does. Yep, she does. It's 16 18. Let's have a look at it again. That was long. Yeah, she did watch that all the way, in fact. Adrenaline took over, I think. Lee he got excited at the chance to kill. I mean, 19-15 would have been yeah. all but done. So, that fairy tale story for the Malaysians still living on as they close up 17. What? No, that was netted. No, it went over. Lee he got it back. Oh, wait. I think it was netted. Let's have a look yeah. at it again. Lee he got this back. Came off the tape and went over. A tumble in the end. And that could be the entire championship on that tumble. How Pearly Tan has the capacity to smile at this stage, I have no idea. That's 
1916. Bacon Lee watching their lens clash of rackets. And now it gets tasty. Oh, that's not, they're all over the shop positionally. Brilliant rally. No idea where the, all this energy is coming from, but it's Bacon Lee that are playing a little bit more controlled. It's all reactive from the Malaysians right now. Pearly Tans waning. This is incredible. <laughs> it's brilliant stuff. Mesmerizing, breathtaking. Oh, it's, they're unsure. Late. And again, Tinner, though, able to keep it going. Burley Tan's dead on her feet. Oh! There's just no movement on the other side of the net from the Malaysians. All reactive. Oh, she's got it back. And again, and again. Get up, Pelly Tan. Oh, it's in. What a rally, and the Malaysians are absolutely floored by that. Well, this is the end that everybody wanted this week. It's deserved this level of excitement. How did she get the 143 shots after the week that they've had? This is stunning. <laughs> it's almost comical. What a hero, Pearly Town. Lose the point, but what a hero. Well, at this rate, looks like it might be lose the match and the championship. That came down to that point, really. It's four <laughs> match points now. <laughs> I'm just laughing at what it takes to beat these two. And how frustrating it must be for the Koreans to keep seeing it coming back. It's almost like an AI opponent that keeps playing you. Four championship points when they come back. I don't know how long. That can be. That might be half an hour at this rate because they might play each point the way they did. I don't think the Malaysians physically can anymore. I think they're out. But what a way to be remembered. She's having trouble picking up the shuttle. I wonder if she knows she's got two rackets in her hand right now. <laughs> You know what? Oh, she's got the last one. That's why, well, at least they've done everything that they can. Whatever happens now, championship points for the Koreans. Trying to engineer something here. Still done it. it comes back. Do you know what? The whole world wants Tan and Tina to come back. I wouldn't be surprised if Korean fans at home, <laughs> they wouldn't mind a comeback from Tan and Tina after what we've seen this week. Well, I'm sure that's what well, I'm talking to from the umpire, Tina.
is struggling physically. Well, we were just talking about the struggle it must have, but she looks like she's in trouble. Winded, perhaps. Definitely up. Well, they've played four matches in four days that have all, well, on average, been an hour and a half long. Yeah, and, you know, high pressure points as well. Oh, we're talking about the best doubles players in the world. Exactly. Two, two Japanese pairs that are incredible, the Koreans as well on semi finals day. Well, I think the umpire is. Oh. Well, yeah, she's definitely. Not, not good news when Rexy gets involved. He and uh, the BWF official are not best of friends, I can assure you of that. She's being physically ill. She's put everything into this match. Fatigued. Winded, withdrawn. Oh, oh she's, she's shaking. Trouble. Yeah, she's having trouble. Spatial awareness as well. I don't think she should go back on. I know <laughs> at 2017. Can you imagine Tina Miralithra not going back on at match point? <laughs> not a chance. You could take her shoes off her and her racket and she'd still go back on court. Superhuman effort that will be written about, I'm sure, tomorrow and remembered. While well, she's looking a little bit fresher. It was all too much for her just now. <laughs> Umpire building the tension as well. <laughs> Make sure they cast him right in the movie. That, how do you get up and do that? What a point. In the end, Tina is on the floor again. She's just let it all out. And even Bekana and Lee Sohi are heading over. Played to the maximum, 101 minutes. 21-17. Finally, and you know, Bobby, I'm actually wondering if she's going to be able to make the trophy presentation for runner-up. Well, you can give 100% and then you can give a little bit more, and that's what Tina has done here. 101 minutes, maybe 101% yes, of effort because true. she's broken. And the fairy tale doesn't quite come true for the Malaysians. Yeah. Well, that's real life for you. But you know what life's really about, Bobby? It's about stories, and that's is a story, not just this week, but this match, this final, is going to be remembered. And when you look at the at the input and the commitment of Beg Harnar and Lee Sohi, they did deserve something from this. Oh, absolutely. I mean, they are deserved winners. They, they've played their hearts out too. They've played amazingly. But I think Tan and Tina have picked up some fans oh, this week. Oh, absolutely. Not just in Malaysia, but everybody around the world watching. And as I said, we were talking about how fresh and fit she looked for the other three matches. Well, that just goes to show you that she is human in tears now as well. While not surprising, it's a very slow and gingerly walk all the way over to the trophy presentation. Much more perky for Lee and Bake. That's confirmation of it. 22-20. 8-21, 21-17 in a match that was written really by badminton itself. Every shot you could think of, every strategy you could think of, and players playing to the physical limit, literally. And there's no exaggeration. Getting ready now for the trophy presentation, and I. Well, it's good to see at least.
So Tinner still buckled over, but you know what? They should make an allowance, I think, and allow her to sit for her prize presentation. Standing on the podium might be a bit much as well. But she doesn't really know what's going on right now in terms of her emotions. there for her partner. She only has to get up half a step. She's going to do it without a seat. Five finals this year. And, well, another win for them. Medals, checks, and souvenirs coming. And for the medals, it is none other than the Honourable Juan Hana Yeo, our Minister of Youth and Sports Malaysia. there by the president of the Bamford Association of Malaysia, also the Olympic Council and honorary president of Bamford of Asia. We also invite Yang Perbahagia, Dr. Seri Zainal Abidin Ahmad, president and CEO Peradua, to give away Peradua souvenirs to the winners. The souvenirs. Dr. Sri Zainal Abidin Ahmad, the president and CEO of Paradua. Congratulations to our women's doubles finals. So up next, it's the men's singles final. HS Pranoy taking on Weng Hong Yang. Don't go anywhere.
back to our continuing coverage of final Sunday here at the Malaysia Masters 2023. That's where we stand on court one right now. Three finals down, fourth final up next. Men's singles, HS Pranoy taking on Weng Hong Yang. So looking at the men's singles draw, well, uh, of course, it's well known now that uh, Pranoy made his way to the final through a very unfortunate accident to Christian 